Hello, everyone. Welcome to my stream. That sounds so overdriven and crackly and shitty. Um, let's see if turning down the volume helps. All right, well, we're just going to go for it and hope that this recording doesn't suck. <laughs> so welcome. Tonight, we're going to do something. I don't know what. I uh, got a couple of breaks ready. And I found this demo song. Um came with some pack or something, I'm sure. Uh, let's turn on warp and loop so we can... I don't know. It's a... It's a musical song, this music. Okay, we need to stop doing that. No sucking on our teeth. So what are we gonna do? Let's... Let's do this. Let's create a return. And we're going to enable the send here. Turn that up. Let's grab our handle, handle, handy vinyl distortion. Oh, yeah. Well, that's no good. There we go. And then what do we want? Obviously a chorus. Maybe turn that up a little bit. And always like our echo. Let's not blow anyone's ears out here. Whoa there. All right, where's my gate? Oh, we want to turn the return down. Grab our threshold here. That way we only get just the very, very tippy peaks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna send that back into itself. Ooh. Okay. Not too much. We need something to... Well, let's do this. Grain delay is always fun. Okay, I like that.
Well, not quite the sound I was going for, but... Mm, what else? And basically everything needs a drum bus, because it does. We're gonna... We're gonna drum bus everything. And we're gonna do three... Oh, four drum buses. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright, are we resampling this yet? Here. Good resample. Oh, and we should. So at this point, what's being sent into A is A, and then A is being sent into B, <laughs> which is then being sent a little back into A and a little back into B, and then into C. Now we have C. got some Pink Floyd going on there, huh? Um, let's just use EQ3. Let's do this, actually. Yeah. And we're gonna set them all to gate. And set the chance at like, I don't know, various different ones.
And then because we know how compressors work, we're gonna compress it like an idiot and point our arrows to the E's. I don't know, what else? I feel like what I really want to do is this. There's just some... I don't know. Yeah, I don't really like that resonator. Alright, let's be done with you. I think, um, oh, do you guys see, hmm, is this streaming? Oh, you can't see me saving, okay. I'm sorry two and a half mags isn't good enough for you. Can we do something about that? Good connection. Fucking YouTube. Um, we are streaming though, right? Yeah, we're streaming. Huh, that's interesting that we start out not streaming great and then get better. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to save this as Well, I'm calling this live stream a one, even though technically it's the second live stream. Um, last night was just a dry run, and yeah. Yeah. That's what we're doing. 
And then we're going to save this live set as. Turn. Noise gen. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to get in the habit of saving racks, but I feel like this isn't really something I want to save. If we we're going to build this thing, I'd build this again differently. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Then we're going to save this again so as not to overwrite it. Cool. So now what? Now I have a big file. 200 bars of noise. Let's turn this down a bit. Yeah. A few minutes of uh, straight noise. So what do you do? Let's slice the new MIDI track. Now, let's say I want we're doing simpler sampler. Yeah, we're doing sampler. Yeah. So I want my sampler here to have some presets. Um, you know, I don't remember, I think. Oh, uh, crap, where is it? Default slicing sampler. I didn't do really anything too interesting, I guess. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's too bad. The goal was to be able to go, oh, here's a rack, here's a sample, do all the things that I did to the sample in that rack. Didn't seem to work. That's okay. Yeah, okay. So this is this is, this is a sampler. Um, I mean, you can always go to sample, drop a sample here, right? Um, but what we can do is slice new mini track. Actually, maybe I don't want to do this. Well, let me, let's go per bar. Well, that's two, <laughs> well, it's 900 bars long. Okay. I won't show you this right now. Let's just do what I was going to do originally. And let's go drop this here. You default to simpler and yeah, I want sampler. Sorry, non live suite users. If you're following along, um, unfortunately you won't be able to do this. All right. So what do we do? We now play this sample at any, well, let's turn the volume down. At any pitch. See, it's gonna start at the very beginning of the sample the whole time. That's not very interesting, is it? So, uh, we can see if we look 
at the zone tab here we can see that everything defaults to c3 note um so to play back at our standard pitch what we would do is play c3 now legato will stretch it out and yeah let's just go with the bar for now so don't play so we're just playing the same same sample over and over again let's go to midi here and go sample loops loop start i think so i'm gonna go midi effects and drop our velocity here i've got mine set up so that our velocity is by default so by default i think um yeah so is it loop start i want or is it sample offset i want it's sample offset there we go see so by default velocity will just return uh, a default 64 regardless of the note you push uh, by increasing random you increase that range with which velocity returns volume well velocity values <laughs> um, and that's in the fixed mode now we can talk about different modes but in essence this is giving us a random velocity so you can see kind of the the sample will play at various different points based on that velocity hi kitty bye kitty all right what else can we do Sorry, I've got to stop. Time. Let's do time. We'll come back to that later. Or we can do that right now, actually. I don't care. Um, random. Let's go bi-directional. Sure. So, total choices, either direction. And let's go. Let's do a sample and hold kind of thing here. Make that modify. Alpha one rate.
Oh, and we should totally be resampling this, by the way. Cause you never know. Maybe, maybe we just come up with that gold riff, you know? Um, yeah, this one needs to go crazy fast. Yeah, I don't think I did anything to filter, so. Let's go do that. Alright, I don't like that. <laughs> Well, okay, maybe we shouldn't be resampling this. I'm sure somewhere this is music. Well, I found it, there's the music. That's a masterpiece. I don't know what else there is that I could possibly do to improve upon that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amazing. size new mini track yeah of course it would how does that work 
Am I crazy? 520 bars is not equal to 130 bars? There you go. Sweet. Nope. Sorry. See? Okay. So back to... Remember where I was telling you about how... <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> that is the one downside of streaming directly into OBS with the mic. Um, I did figure out how to load the plugins into OBS, but still... Um, yeah. No, no mute button. I can turn off. I, is turning off and on phantom power like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not a real good mute button, right? Anyway. Bingo, bango. Oh. Yeah, so it's... All right, so what we want to do is slice a new MIDI track, but we don't want to use the built-in preset. And now there are some sampler setups, but yeah. What the fuck is this beat offset? I don't know. I feel like it's something specific and intentional and like each, each slice is mapped to a key, but I don't know. It's, I don't know. One of those things where I feel like I should go consult the manual, but well, I'm in the middle of doing this for instance, or I'm in the middle of making music, so I never do, but anyway. Go to go 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 get your own sampler. Right? Make whatever changes you always make, right? Do you do you always turn up the volume? I tend to. Um though I didn't hear because it sure didn't need it. Um Yeah, that's a good question. Answer in the comments. Where do you gain stage? Do you gain stage at sampler? Do you gain stage your fader? Anyway, make your changes. You can save it as a default preset if that's how you always use sampler. But you can then come to user library, go to defaults and slicing, and then drop your sampler here. Whoop. Drop your sampler here. Well, let's rename that so I don't overwrite. Well, I guess it is just the same thing, but yeah, move to trash. But then when you come to, I just did it a million times and it's like right below my mouse and I can't find it. Slice new MIDI track and we select sampler. Oh, do I want preserved warp timing? I don't think so. Boom. All right, here we go. Now we have 128 clips. Or, well, 128 slices. I wish there was an easy way to rename them all. Um, well, there... <laughs> there is outside of Ableton. Um, but what we can do is... Control A. And crop sample. Crop, crop, 
crap, 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 crap. I like how it has a timestamp and it's counting for us. Now when you come to current project, samples and processed, here's all your slices. And so like, I might rename that like, I don't know. I like this one. <laughs> Just to be super creative. I don't know. The, the idea is to go, you know, hey. Um, cool idea. And if you preface it with the underscore, then whatever you call it will be at the top of the list when you come back to your crops. Um, now, <laughs> now we can go in circles. Um, here's sampler again. Or, 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 ooh, there we go. <laughs> Let's put a simpler in. And remember current project samples. I like that. And we're going to slice that and take an ARP. And um, just because Ableton is 100% consistent on everything, um, when you slice by default, um, and I think actually it is for consistency reasons because Simpler does the same thing. Um, oh, because we're we're not soloed. C1 here is the um, is your root is your root note when you use slice mode in Simpler, and again I, I I think that is to keep consistency with Sampler because that's its default. But why is C3 the default all the other times? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it should fill up then down, but what do I know? Okay. Well, and from a programming standpoint, it's probably easier to... Whatever. Anyway. Rocking and rolling. I'm just making noises tonight, apparently. Um, so, hope you enjoy the ride. All right. So, see one note. Just kind of acts as our clock. And, and like I showed you last night, we can do some MIDI routing if we want, but... That's not very interesting. Alright, and then we want to make sure, um, and we can just pop this up, whoa, there's the sample, yo. Am I crazy? Maybe, maybe it is only simpler that, or sampler that can do the play mode. Um, huh. Well, all right, anyway.
Oh, can we add a marker? Hmm. All right. So normally I'd be much better and like actually name all of these chain chains, but hmm. uh, yeah, check this shit out. Does everyone get that? So I told the arpeggiator to go down one step five times, right? So if we start at C1, then if it goes down five times, there's no notes to play. <laughs> but if we put the pitch in front of it, right? And it goes down five times. Yeah, okay. Well, now 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 I know how I want to chop up my amen break. So I guess we'll do that now. All right. And then Oh, I'm sorry. Distribute ranges equally. Oh, uh I know what I do do this yes um same area user library defaults dropping samples on device viewer on drum rack um my my simpler dropper is um probably a fucking a member What even? Oh my gosh, that's too funny. What even is that? That's an amen break for sure, but. Anyway, <laughs> it's irrelevant to the point. Um, for slice mode, I have it set to beat by default. Um, mm, for, for reasons. I don't know that that's the right choice for everyone, but. Yeah. Anyway, you create a you create a simpler dropper and then when you come over to MIDI device view right here and it says drop something here and when I go and drop my amen break it gives me just here's my Oh yeah, and this is just having a good time over here by itself. <laughs> All right, we can we can stop you. What is soloed here? Her? Oh. We forgot something.
Yeah, I don't really like that one. So let's make this one happen a little less. There we go. All right. Are we chopping up another amen break? Chopped up an amen break last night. I feel like there's only so much runway there, right? How about telephone girl? Um, and we're gonna slice by region. Hey. Music, right? Actually, you know. Yeah. What is it Adam Neely always says? Repetition legitimizes. Okay, how many regions do we need? Like 16, right? Maybe. Alright, is that it's right here too. See what I really should do is is just be using the push, but then you can't see what I'm doing. It it becomes more obtuse. More hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Alright. So this is not an Amen double loop crash. I feel like Let's just start over here. I would like to actually know kind of what that is. That's funny. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's just leave the transport running. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. All right. So we're gonna insert MIDI MIDI track, right? And again, let's take Telephone Girl. Oh, this is a good. Oh, this is a good track. Region. We're going for a region here. And we're going to go, let's go 32. Holy crap. See, and this is where I feel like shift comes in and, and sometimes just using two hands on the, on the push is just easier, right? Well, although now we're not doing shit. Why are we not? I thought shift made it. I don't know. All right, 16 regions. Probably want more, but let's we'll start there. Remember, we're gonna start on C1. So should we go 32? So we set this to zero and we set this to eight. No, we set this to one and we set that to eight, duh. All right, so now we're pretty much just playing the break, I guess, which is fine. It's not really interesting. I, I mean, you know, okay, here. Guess we made music. All right, well, I am gonna let that go for a second. Well, I'd be right back.
All right, well, I don't know if you can call that music, but let's do, well, you know what? <laughs> um, fuck it. See, and this is why I always suggest renaming shit. Oh, well, shit. Um, all right, yeah, let's do, all right, yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah, okay. Let's duplicate that first. Then we'll rename this. plus three does that make sense three steps over plus three Sorry, honey. Yes, my love. Could you come over here into the, into the mic, please? Where are you going? <laughs> just all crazy now all right what else um is there anything crazy oh yeah i did there was yeah see remember 
You literally are a maniac. All right, uh, medivex. So, uh, pitch, remember, and then put this here. And we're gonna go 32. Well, why call it anything different? It should be plus 32. Well, see, and that's where we need other symbols. There we go. I actually kind of like that. No, that sucks. <sighs> Actually... <laughs> kind of talked about this yesterday um what I would probably do in our reality if we really wanted to record this is take this stick it here because what happens is we get our MIDI signal from either our in or our MIDI you could almost even call your in a, a temporary MIDI clip and then the MIDI clip plays our MIDI notes into our effects. If our effects happen to <laughs> rely on randomness, um, then, you know, every time we press the play button, it's gonna be different, um, which is good or bad, right? Like if, if I'm trying to recreate this tomorrow, well, you know, then I wanna, then I wanna turn on recording here too, and uh, you know, hit record, and then, and then now, now I'm actually, not recording anything because I didn't set that up. Um, MIDI routing. So you can set your MIDI output, but you can only set one MIDI out. You can create 
Um, this is this is kind of a whoop. This is kind of a hack here, um, because it's technically an instrument, right? You can put an external instrument here. Um, although now, if you notice, your um, MIDI MIDI out becomes an audio too, right? But now you can set your MIDI output here, right? So we could totally set nine, right? Um, and then kind of the trick is that we can group this and duplicate it and now uh, duplicate that um, and now I can send this to you know whatever seven and then I can duplicate this and I can send this to five All right ah uh, shit my cat cat bumped the mic um, I don't know Ho hopefully you heard me <laughs> if not well that sucks. Um, so now we're sending MIDI signals to multiple different channels, right? And if we turn on our um, monitor here, oh, um, why? <laughs> Ableton's too smart for me. So you can't actually route it to individual channels. Crazy. So what the shit? How do I route that to? Oh, I can't. Cause what? Cause technically, Ableton is not an out an external instrument. Okay. Well. You can see now how this routes to multiple different instruments though. Um, and though creating a chain does not allow MIDI to pass through. That sucks. So really, you really can only have one, technically one output to a channel. Um, I would love to hear, you know, other things that you can pass it to. Um, if again, there was a, uh, I should set that up. So you can, you can send the MIDI to a specific instrument, just like you can, you know, um, I should set that up too. All right, cool. Two things to set up. Just like you can send this to ProQ. All right. Well, hmm. Anyway, we don't want to do that because, well, pretty sure. What was it out there? <laughs> you are the silliest kitty. Um, okay, I was distracted by a cat. All right, so MIDI out, MIDI audio to master but then when we delete that no output yeah okay cool rock and roll I could have done that here too um but so we can totally take our input though from another channel um the cool thing here is we can also select like pre effects it's like I just want that C note right cause that's the control note so I just want that Obviously I don't, but if there are situations where I do, I can do that. Um, I should really take notes when doing this because I don't know the difference between post FX and post mixer. 
We also can take just input from specific pieces in a device rack. Will be important in the future. Anyway, so if I want to record this for specific playback, you'll 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 note that it's pretty much just ARPs, right? But the well, the secret sauce is the velocity. I mean, if if we want to go back and change this later on, we can too, right? So, all right, cool, we get it. Um, right, but if what is this? Eighty-one. We can move this up to eighty-one too. I think 80 is about the same, right? And then I don't know. I'm still not. <laughs> I <laughs> I know I want to chop this break up. I just don't know that I've found the way yet. Anyway, this is how we can record that. Um, I'm just gonna play it from our source over here for now. Um, fuck with this a bit. So, <laughs> uh. I don't think these velocities matter, but they're about to. They might. Cause watch this. <laughs> mm, and I would never do this this way in the real world. I'm just kind of curious, actually. All right. Eight. Nine. Post mixer. In. In. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay, so we got this, but let's duplicate it and turn the FO up and yeah, I don't know.
Mm, all right. So obviously that needs to be a thing. What else? I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of like thinking about like what what can I fuck up? <laughs> All right, let's warp it. Let's go texture. Let's turn rain size and flux all the way down. Doesn't sound any different. That's what I was looking for earlier. Yeah, okay, so you can tell it to play forward and stop, forward repeatedly, or forward and backwards. I don't know why playing it forwards and backwards makes it fill in the thing, but. doesn't it just that just sounds so f fucked up is great yeah grain delay my favorite actually maybe it's Ty Okay. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, here, delay. Who doesn't love a good delay? Yeah, buddy. Pong. What else can we do to just fuck this up? Vocoder? See... I think I want some more random pan.
I mean, for sure that's... For sure that's panning, so... Okay, I really do want some more random pan though. I don't know, what else can we do? I mean, I, I'm just grabbing Ableton stock plugins. Um, Cause I don't know that I wanna share all my plugins with you people. It's kind of personal, you know? So, uh, some of these are, oh, I didn't do the most obvious one. Duh. And there's a whole room of opportunities there, too. Oh, well, let's... I don't know. Do we do the voice? Do you guys like the voice? There, there's literally no one watching, so... <laughs> talking to myself. Is that is that better than talking to myself? Kick his ass! Get him! He has been kicking your ass for, like, two years. Ooh, yeah, fighting back, good. Good. Your brothers take care of each other. That's what you do. I don't use nearly enough reverb. Someone told me I used too much reverb, so I took that to heart and just never used reverb again. Which is dumb, because... You gotta use reverb. Rev. Phaser reverb. Did you know? There is no um, send rack on a instrument rack, which I think is interesting. It's like, why is there one on a drum rack, but not on an instrument rack? I feel like there should be. I don't know. Am I am I too crazy? Mm, I feel like that's off. That's the same thing. Well, that was cool. Fucking the end of that. It's always the end of the resamples that are the cool things. <laughs> I 
I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Like... Alright, so I'm specifically skipping 24 here, just so there's one space where there's like a chance for nothing, basically. There you go. Treasure boarding. Holy shit, I've been prattling on for an hour and a half now. Well, come over here and say that.
Well, I don't know if that's music or not, but... It sure was a fun, a lot of fun messing around to make. <laughs> Well, let me show it again, please. So, feel like, all right, so if we do this, let me do this. So if we just take, I don't know, where do we want? Do we want eight? Now. Well, 
Silly kitty. Alright, so what are we playing? Over here. Well, that's interesting. Not what I thought was happening, but okay. Guess it makes sense because we're doing the plus 36. Yep. <laughs> And a lot, apparently. Oh, come on, do it. How about this one? Well, hmm. Normally, I like to go like this and do like a. So but we want to group that there. So No, no, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. I know, I know, I know brains. Mini effect rack. Yes, sir. And we go key. We go create chain. Everything up to V1. Um, scene two. Uh, I 
I'm sure there's a less brute force way of doing this. Um, it's the best one I can think of right now. What the fuck is R? All right, fourth, fourth, fourth note. God damn it. Quarter note. Sorry. Quarter note. Uh, All right, uh, we can go similarly. You know the deal by now.
So we're gonna. We're gonna Well, according to the windows, we disconnected and reconnected. Let me know in the chat that no one's in if uh, that happened to you. Anyway, my point was that we can now actually like record what's happening with the base. And I feel like we probably want to do I guess it doesn't really matter when all right so <laughs> it's funny um blue scale this blue scale is a pentatonic scale meaning it has five tones I should just save this because I do this move all the time. See, the reason I do it typically is to demonstrate it, but if you notice, there's a lot of there's a lot of the same note being played, but largely because of the distribution of the notes that are being entered. <laughs> um, so when in the key of C here. When I see a C sharp or D is played, it's adjusted to a C. But at least two of those notes are being played. We can add to our diversity of notes. Yeah, all three of those notes are being played, but they're being played as C. So the right let's distribute the notes so C sharp becomes I don't fucking know uh, C C sharp D uh, E sharp yep because it's a because it's a black note right because Um, yeah, I'm not going to say the note names because I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, I should. That's so bad. Cause, I mean, it's a C blue scale, right? Like, there's only a couple notes that are not. And then here. And then here's our octave. Let me go back down. This one's the same. Boom, boom. And boom. And now... <laughs> we have a much more distributed, like, blue scale. Let me save this. I'm going to save this. Blue scale. So, and we can see, I mean, I mean, we've been recording for a while, but the, the patterns being generated are now different. And if we add our drums back in, I don't know how to do that. to be in uh, F scale.
Well, anyway. <laughs> what is this boom? Is what I want to know. I was talking about when we want to do in and do pre of X. My brain just being filled with uh, the the boom I can't understand. Oh come on! Uh, So my base monitoring situation is may not be the best. Um <laughs> That booms though, so maybe the answer is that it just wants to be a C3, right? To, to boom? Well, I could tell you. Um. Yeah. We'll go to 12. This is 32 hertz. So I mean, maybe there's systems out there that play that, but. Yeah. Although. Uh -uh. Oh, excuse me, jeez, I'm so sorry. I could totally do something with that. Wait, is our no? Okay. 
it's just a really wide curve, so. Like, okay, but really. I feel like at this point we have music, right? Some kind of crazy drum loop. Some kind of crazy bass line that's doing something. Well, hey, you know, <laughs> you don't, you don't hit home runs every time up to bat. I definitely do have some material here that will um, prove you prove to be useful in in the future. I think. Um, I just at this point well I like, remember here um oh you know you can push this button over here it does the same thing as holding shift and hit and stop clip on the push um <laughs> it's <laughs> it's funny I've been trying to learn to use the push more for things but then for doing these kind of things it actually makes more sense to use well the mouse um what was my point there's maybe some some drum patterns here we can use All this towards the end, right? Well, yeah, you know, like... None of, none of this by itself is necessarily... music right but <laughs> lots lots and lots and lots of material here we can turn into music so tune in to tomorrow i guess um when we oh you know what i should do is do this watch this ready guys And then when I Yeah. Now now check me out, right? Now it says thanks for stream watching. <laughs> so I can do this. It'd be real cool and go, oh yeah, thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, seriously, if you <laughs> made it this far, holy crap, I don't know how I spent two hours fucking around. Um, I, I don't know. I had fun. Hopefully you learned something and this was not entirely a waste of your time. <laughs>